Welcome to the step-by-step -step technique video on the fabrication of a single tooth space maintainer or flipper using the fast splint matrix technique indirect method. Begin by selecting the appropriate denture tooth and adjust it to fit the pontic space on the model. Cut a horizontal channel on the lingual side of the denture tooth. Ensure that the space is approximately 3 mm deep and has a retentive form. Next, cut a vertical channel leading from the horizontal channel to the neck or apical end of the tooth. Place the tooth on the model and with a pencil mark the desired position of the wings on the lingual surface of the abutments. Remove a piece of fast splint matrix spacer wax from the package, peel off the paper backing and place the wax, sticky side facing in, into the position marked on the model and demarcated by the channel in the denture tube. Trim away any excess wax and ensure that the wax spacer is placed completely at the base of the channel in the tooth. Inject fast splint matrix clear silicone over the area of the space maintainer in order to create an index or record to be used for the precise placement and positioning of the fibers. The silicone should be compressed to obtain a precise adaptation of the silicone to the model. You can use your finger to do so, ensuring that a separating media like isopropyl alcohol is used to keep your finger from sticking to the silicone. Ensure that the silicone covers the incisal edge of the teeth. Once the silicone is cured or set, remove the matrix from the model. Carefully remove the spacer wax and set it aside in one piece. It will be used to measure the precise length of fiber ultimately used in the case. Trim the index so that it can be repositioned on the model without interferences. Trim any interferences in the index in the position of the pontic, which will result in easier and more precise placement of the denture tooth in later stages. With the index in position on the model, mark the precise position of the index relative to the model. This will facilitate repositioning at later stages. 
apply a separator on the working surfaces of the model and allow to dry. Apply a coat of Fast Splint Matrix Light Cure Bonding Material inside the horizontal and vertical channels of the denture tooth and light cure for 30 to 60 seconds. Remove a piece of Fast Splint Matrix 1-4 glass fiber from the package. Use the spacer wax set aside earlier to measure the length of glass fiber to be cut. Cut the fiber with the protective plastic wrapping in place. Fill the trough or channel in the index with a very thin layer of Fast Splint Matrix flowable resin. Fill the horizontal and vertical channels of the denture tooth with a generous amount of Fast Splint Matrix flowable resin. Take the pre-cut length of Fast Splint Matrix 1-4 fiber and place it inside the trough or channel in the silicone index. Coming from the lingual aspect, Place the index into the predefined position on the model, applying a firm pressure once the index is in its final position. Now ensure that the fiber is in the correct position coming across the pontic space. Take the denture tooth and place it into position on the index, applying a firm pressure once seated. Light cure through the index from the lingual side for 30 to 60 seconds. When light curing is complete, remove the index. At this stage, the flow resin is used to fill any voids in the lingual side of the space maintainer and to cover the fiber wings on the abutments. Light cure the flow resin for 60 seconds. After curing is completed, remove the space maintainer from the model and trim the excess resin using your preferred trimming burrs. Using pumice, carefully clean the space maintainer to remove any rough surfaces. Polish using a felt wheel. The wings of the space maintainer are now sandblasted on the lingual facing surface to enhance bonding to two structures. The completed space maintainer is now ready for direct bonding intraorally using standard bonding procedures.